Hi, Arnabees. Hi. So um, we were hoping to get this out a little earlier today, but we've had some technical difficulties <laughs> uh, with Sandy's camera. We went to shoot this earlier today, and the memory card on her phone is not cooperating, or on her camera. So we're using the phone. I know it's not going to be as good quality as when we use the camera, but we're we're doing our best here. It's been this kind of Christmas. We uh, went and got our pre-made Christmas dinner today, and uh, it says 8 to 10 people. Apparently, it's 8 to 10 really teeny, teeny people, because it's uh, not as much food as we thought. So on, term, on top of everything else, we got to make food to go with our made food yeah. in order to have our dinner tomorrow. So, boy... We are doing our best to uh, to have a Christmas. Uh, it's, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so this is our special Christmas edition of Tales from the Carpet Trail. Um, something I've been planning for a while. So, um, first of all, before we get started, with Sandy and I, and Tia, who's our film filmographer, is uh, said filmographer, not the other kind of ographer. Is um, <laughs> just want to take this time to uh, wish you guys all a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And, uh, <laughs> we are at least having a good time, if nothing else. Oh hey, what's what's in our cup? What's in his cup? <laughs> Old Milwaukee beer. Why? Because it's cheap. And we've got people over, and we don't love our family enough to give them really good booze. So we're giving to give them this cheap American beer. I'm not drinking. But you wouldn't know that. Um, but her painkillers are fantastic. Okay. So anyway, um, many years ago when I was starting my company, I joined a networking group, um, which is a group of people that come together once a week. And um, so there's basically people from all different trades, all different businesses, and they come together and we have breakfast. And um, we promote our businesses. And uh, one of the things we had to do was to do a one-minute infomercial. So every every week you had to do a, a little spiel. And then at Christmas time, they wanted us to do like a, a Christmas theme, either poem or song or something. And most of the people uh, crapped out. They didn't really do it. But there was myself and the chiropractor in the group. And every year... Uh, we would have a Christmas duel of who could one-up each other. And uh, the poor guy, I kicked his ass every year, but he was a good sport about it. So I'm going to pull out a couple of things that I've done over the years, uh, Christmas theme, to do my Tales of the Carpet Trail. So the first will be a poem uh, to uh, Twas the Night Before Christmas. And then the other one will be a song. Uh, which I lovingly call Carpet Wonderland. Sandy's going to be singing with me. I am not. <laughs> <laughs> because no she is, karaoke. <laughs> because she has made this so damn difficult to get this video out. that I did nothing. Um, Santa Claus is almost here already. But anyway, so uh, let me just get into character here for you. Okay. So, so here we go, guys. So, yes, and uh, Bailey is here, and Odie's actually here, too. Yes, we actually got Odie today. Do we want to bring Odie in? Sure. Okay, hold on, we're going to bring Odie in. So, this is Odie's ashes. Uh, we're also getting a lovely little uh, ornament um, with the paw print, and with her, with her paw print, this stuff as well. So, I mean... We're sad about this, but it's kind of nice that Odie made it home for Christmas, too, with us. So, anyway. Yeah. So, here we go, guys. So okay. You ready, Bailey? Uh, okay. Come come around, little boys and girls. We're all going to sit down and tell you all a little story. So, here we go. It was the night before Christmas. And all through my pad, the carpets were dirty and smelled really bad. The in-laws were coming tomorrow, they said. My spirits were drowning in feelings of dread. So off to the phone book, I flew in a flash. I called George from Premier. Just check her cash. Then what to my wondering eyes should appear 
but a huge strapping man. It was George for Premier. He went straight to work. I couldn't believe what I'd seen. The miracle he performed with his carpet machine. He was faster than lightning. And when he was done, said my boy on his crutches, God bless us, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I have to live with this. <laughs> Just... <laughs> and my spirits were rescued straight out of the gloom. I yelled, Christmas is saved! Just 30 bucks a room! <laughs> then I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Call George from Premier if you want it done right. <laughs> so that's our poem. <laughs> and now we have to do a song. A we. There's no we. So Sandy, <laughs> being the big chicken that she is, is not going to sing. Nope. But she's going to do the jingle bells, jingle, jingle, which she jingle. doesn't actually have. So we will be adding the jingle bell sound effect uh, to the video <laughs> afterwards. You just have to pretend that she's doing jingle bells. Okay. All right. So here we go. Are we ready? You got it going? Get the bells going. Here we go. Sleigh bells ring. Are you listening? In my home. Carpets glistening. It's a beautiful sight. My carpets are white. Living in a carpet wonderland. Gone away is the blue stain. In the hall, no more poo stains. <laughs> it's a beautiful sight. My carpets are white. Living in a carpet wonderland. I got on the phone and called Premier. And they sent their best man around. George took one look and went, oh dear. We better get it done and go to town. Now my home's smelling real great. I don't need laminate. It's a beautiful sight. My carpets are white. Living in a carpet wonderland. Come on, Sandy. It's a beautiful sight. Our carpets are white. Living in a carpet wonderland. One more. It's a beautiful sight. Our carpets are white. Living in a carpet wonderland. Okay, everybody. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you said laminate rock. <laughs> I said it on purpose. <laughs>